Sphinx supports real-time indexing via the RT index backend, but maybe you'd rather just use plain old batch indexes. Well, you can. With Delta index updates, you can keep your indexes fresh, and you might not need real-time indexes at all. And this is not really groundbreaking stuff. The Delta index update method has been described a number of times already, but in this video, I'm going to walk you through all the steps in detail, with pictures and all. So let's get started. Let's look at this example from Sphinx's documentation. Imagine we're running a forum. All the posts sit in a MariaDB table called F posts, and it looks like this. Now let's take a look at how we configure Sphinx to do some delta indexing on this data set. Notice that the main source executes a pre-query that keeps track of the maximum value of ID from our MariaDB data source, that F post table. And it stores it in a table called SPH counter. The main source then grabs documents from F posts where the ID is less than or equal to the maximum value of ID stored in SPH counter. In other words, it will grab all the documents from F posts. The delta source inherits some settings from the main source, but the SQL query is different. The delta source will grab documents from F posts where the ID is greater than the ID recorded by the pre-query. In other words, the delta source will only index new documents, new since the time of the last main index update. And here's what our index configuration looks like. It's nothing special, just a little prefix indexing for wildcard search. Mm, we configure search D just as we usually would. I'm not going to talk about this now, but if you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And with everything properly configured and assuming you've got your configuration in the default location, we run indexer. The max value of ID is stored in a counter table and we get a main index that looks like this. And a counter table that looks like this. Notice that the max doc ID is four. Now, let's imagine we have three new posts about dogs, cats, and chickens. We want these new posts available to search. So we've got to run indexer. Let's pretend our main index is gigantic, because in that case it might actually take a long time to re-index. But with only seven documents, it's not really going to take any time. So to avoid having to update our gigantic main index, we can just update the delta. This will be much faster because the delta is much smaller. It only contains the newest documents. We run indexer and we get an index that looks like this. Notice it only contains the last three documents. Perfect. Now we can just search both indexes and get all the results. How often you update your main index is up to you, but after re-indexing the main index, we'll get something like this. But re-indexing from scratch is not the only way forward. Sphinx also provides an option to merge indexes. The documentation says that merging the indexes is normally faster than re-indexing, but still not instant on huge indexes. Basically, it will need to read the contents of both indexes once and write the result once. Merging a 100 gigabyte index with a 1 gigabyte index, for example, will result in 202 gigabytes of I.O. But that's still likely less than what indexing from scratch would require. Sounds great. Now, let's imagine we received a couple new posts. We update the delta and we want to merge the documents into the main index. So, we'll do this. sudo user bin indexer merge main delta rotate. And as you can see, it brought the two new documents from the delta index into the main index. Now, let's imagine that we've received a couple more new blog posts or forum posts. 
and we've updated the delta and we have our archived posts in the main index. We can search them both and get our data lumped together by listing the indexes separated by a comma. We'll get a result set that looks like this. So that's about it. This was a very basic example. In the real world, things will get much more complex. But hopefully this helps you see the idea. Here's an example by a Sphinx consultant, Wasim. He describes a situation where we want to add fresh documents and update some of the old documents stored in the main index. Check it out to learn more. And here's another one by Diego Saprisa, which is quite similar to this example we just went over, except for one small difference. His search example utilized the Sphinx API commands, while this one uses Sphinx QL. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.